Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys have never tuned in to my channel before, hi, my name is Nikki. I'm a freshman at the University of Chapel Hill. The University of Chapel Hill. And today I'm going to be giving you guys a dorm tour of my dorm. So there are a lot of first year dorms on UNC's campus, but I am in the Hinton James dorm currently. And I just thought that this would be really helpful if any of you guys are considering going to Chapel Hill. I definitely don't think that you should make, you know, your college decision based on dorm. But I also think that it's very helpful when you are deciding what dorm you want to put down if you've already been accepted and all of that type of thing. Just for my longtime, you know, viewers, I think you guys are pretty interested in you know seeing where I'm living and how I'm decorating my space this year as a college freshman. Just a brief rundown of the dorm I'm living in. I'm currently living in a suite style dorm which means that there are four basic bedrooms that have two girls each and then they all share one bathroom which has one shower and one toilet. So I know that it sounds like kind of a lot of girls sharing one space. It is but it is manageable. Before I get into all of that my sister is currently living in Horton which is the dorm right next to Hidden James and I'm also going to be giving you guys a tour of that dorm as well. Apparently Horton does not have as many room tours on YouTube so hopefully you guys can you know watch till the end or just go ahead and skip to Horton if you know that you're going to be living in Horton and see how that one looks as well. Just a little brief disclaimer, Horton is literally so much bigger than Hojo. Just want to put that out there, but I think Hojo is very roomy and I love the sweet style. So anyway, let's get into Basically, the room. This is what the outside of the dorm looks like. That's Layla. She's one of my sweet mates. So basically, this is what the dorm sort of looks like when you walk in. And then my dorm is right over here. Um, this is kind of like the first overview for y'all. I'm gonna give you guys like a more in-depth overview in a second, but this is kind of what we are dealing with. I got a perpendicular dorm, so that means that my bed is here, Mel's is here. So this is Mel's side and this is my side. So we are gonna start with, I guess, this. This is really like the main storage compartment that you get if you are in Hojo. There is a lot of built-in storage and I know that my mom in particular was like super concerned about like me having enough storage and everything, but you will have so much storage if you use it right in Hojo, which is really nice. So basically you have this one built-in dresser. You and your suite mate both get one of these and then two of the larger drawers. They are pretty large, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. Mine aren't even that packed, but you can fit quite a bit of clothing in there. Mel did decide to bring a big TV, which is great for like little movie nights and stuff. And then over here we have my Nutribullet, which I actually just used today, so the cup isn't in there. But I would definitely suggest bringing a Nutribullet if you are into making your own smoothies. Anything where you need a blender, it's, you know, very compact, it's very small, but it literally is so perfect for making protein shakes. And then Mel also brought us some like plates and cups and spoons and things, which is really nice. We just keep these over here because we don't have too much storage area and for that stuff. And then up there, we just have more storage. So this is my side. I would definitely recommend buying some 13 inch bins because you can fit a lot of stuff and you don't really have to look at it too often. You guys can see this is the closet situation. You do have to bring your own rod, by the way, so don't forget about that. You also have to bring one from the bathroom, which I will show you later. We just have some paper towels, some Clorox, different cleaning supplies, garbage bags, and things like that. And then these are just the clothes that I'm hanging up. I really don't have that many clothes um, that I want to hang up at the moment because I did not bring my fall wardrobe yet. I also have this closet organizer which I just have different things in. This is like sort of for hair. This is just hats. Um, this is like a scarf, my belt. We have tote bags. I do suggest bringing like a beach towel so you can go sit out on the quad. And then these are just the shoes that I brought. We have my little desk area. So definitely don't forget to bring a desk mirror. I did forget a desk mirror for a couple days, so don't forget that. We just have like my makeup, some necklaces, some more necklaces, um, toiletries, and all that fun stuff. You might be wondering what these like green containers are. And these are actually UNC's 
um, to-go boxes. They don't do, you know, styrofoam or cardboard to-go boxes. Instead, you just get one of these and you have to return it later. So that really cuts down on a lot of waste, which I personally love. There is like this little drawer, but there's really not much in there. And moving on, over here, you guys can see I do have like an extension cord that's going like this way. And that is where we plug in my fridge. Also, there is this full length mirror. So we also have like my trash can, my big water bottle, my book bag, and my gym bag, my fridge, and all of uh, some more storage area. Now, originally, I did not want to bunk my bed, but I did end up bunking my bed just because without bunking your bed, you're not really gonna have enough room in Hojo, I feel like. I feel like someone needs to bunk their bed, especially if you have a large fridge like this. So I decided that I would. The microwave and some more storage. So I'm gonna quickly go through the storage. So up here we have sports bras, we have my gym shorts, and then my leggings. You guys can see I am a gym rat, so I had to have my own little gym section over here. And then over here, we just have this big cube organizer. I'm gonna quickly go through everything in these. So these are like my long pants. I literally have not touched them yet. I only brought like three, because I mean, I know I'm gonna be going home in fall. Then we have like more miscellaneous stuff, like an iron if I need it. Don't forget dish soap, because you're gonna wanna be cleaning your dishes if you're eating in your dorm a lot. Then we just have this first aid kit. This is food stuff. So I am definitely one who loves to make oats, smoothies and things, so definitely bring that if you are into that type of thing as well. So I just have some oats, some chia seeds, some peanut butter powder, a container, always good to have like little containers you can bring to the dining hall to take food back if you don't want to get a to-go box. Then up here we have like just some more snacks and goodies. So I really like, you know, healthy snacks. So we have like some edamames, some little bars, some York peppermint patties, some microwave popcorn. I feel like this is like essential for college, just, you know, whenever. And then like a big thing of peanut butter and also like some peanuts down there. We have just literally a whole thing just devoted to protein bars because that's like my main snack, I would say. Up here, we just have my laundry basket. This is honestly where I throw all of my dirty laundry and then I just take it down to the laundry room, which is not too far. And over here, we have this little bedside lamp which is perfect because I do have the lofted bed. So it's perfect. It has like a little Apple Watch charging station. And then this is actually a charging station for tray over here. So this is actually really, really cool because I can just lay my phone on it and it will charge it for me. And then this is sort of my bed. Not the most crazy or anything. I just brought some pretty basic pillows. And then over here, you guys can kind of see some greenery garland. I decided to wrap it around the post, and I think it actually looks pretty cute. I also have like this little N that Mill got me. And then this was going to be like a really elaborate photo wall. But one thing I will say is that hanging anything on cinder blocks is so, so difficult. I will just say that right now. If you are planning on doing some type of a photo wall for your college dorm, I would definitely say if you can't use nails, I would say just do posters. For me, I was planning on doing like all of these pictures in actual frames, but they just kept falling down. So this is kind of what we are left with. It's definitely not what I wanted to be and I might still like hang up some more posters and stuff. But you know what? It looks cute. It brings the vibes. Carpet. Um, and this little futon which is perfect for just like jumping down in the middle of the night Especially if your bed is going to be bunked and you can also store stuff inside of it this is Mel's side I'm not gonna go into crazy detail about this side because it is her room and it is her stuff And I don't really want to go through it. Okay, so that is basically it for my personal dorm tour and I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom situation Okay, so I know that I did walk you guys through a little bit of this entryway, but I just want to show you it again for any of you guys that are going to be in Hojo because I know you want to see everything. So this is what the bathroom looks like. Yes, it is a little bit messy. As you guys can see, we have two sinks 
which is great if there's a lot of people trying to get ready or unready at the end of the day. We have one shower. It is a little bit dark and definitely make sure that you get one of those little shower caddies to hang under your shower because they do not come with that and I did have to put my stuff on the ground for the first few days. You're also going to want to bring command hooks so you can hang up your towels in there and also bathroom carpets as well. We have yet to get a shower curtain for the actual toilet area. Um, and we also don't have one for the shower itself, but it does have its own little curtain, just not a cute one. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be giving you a little dorm tour. This is Abby speaking. Um, there's me in the mirror. Um, so I'm just gonna start at this little hallway when you walk in. We do have a corner dorm, so our dorm is actually pretty big compared to everyone else's. So that's pretty lucky. Um, so we have this little thing that we put in front of our door whenever we sleep. Um, and it just kind of keeps the light out and it just helps us sleep. So yeah, and then over here is our shoe rack. We put a lot of our shoes on there. And then our big long mirror. And there, there's our bathroom. I might do a little bit of a tour in there, um, but I might not because I am running out of storage on my phone, so I might go a little fast. So we also have this bookshelf. We don't really have much on it. I just have some pictures that I'm planning on putting on the wall, and I'm just gonna put them on there. And sorry if I sound a little groggy or out of breath. I am sick, so I might cough a little. I also just have my hairbrush and over here on this hook i just have my lanyard so that i don't walk out the door without it and always remember to put it up and it has my keys my one card and my pepper spray and then here on my wardrobe i have a hook with my bathrobe on it and then over here is my dresser and it has five drawers i actually don't even use the bottom one because there's so much room and i didn't even bring that many clothes but here i have my salt lamp a little what do you call it? Hand sanitizer. And then I have this painting, just decoration. Nikki actually painted it for me, so very good job. And here I have a little container. I got this at Target and just has some wipes, trash bags, soap, and some photos. Um, here's my roommate's dresser. I won't really go into detail since it is her and I don't know how much she wants me to show, but we have a air purifier that my roommate brought. Um, she also has some fake plants and some real flowers, tissues, and then a little stuffed ram since our mascot is a ram. And we have over here is our little like food, snack, and like refrigerator area. And we have just these organizers with snacks in them. Love me some goldfish and dried apricots. This first drawer we have Tupperware containers, bowls, and tea. Second drawer is cough drops, plates, and little dove chocolates and then in this one we have utensils right next to it we have a little yoga mat for me because i like doing yoga and then we have a little trash can and then over here my roommate got us a keurig i've actually never used it but she uses it sometimes and here i have some peanuts that my older sister got me since we go to carolina it's carolina nuts and then I have another hand sanitizer. Here's our microwave. I think I got it online at Target. And then our mini fridge is definitely a good size as well. This is what it looks like. I just have our Brita, which is a little pink one. Here's my roommate's side. I won't really go into too much detail, um, but she did say I could show some of it. Uh, so she has like a chair, there's her desk, just kind of some cute stuff on the wall. There's her bed. We actually face different ways on our bed, which I actually like that for some reason. And then she has a ton of storage under there. And we actually ended up putting her wardrobe over on this side, which I didn't really know if that was gonna look good at first, but I actually did turn out looking really good. And now I will do my side. My side of the room looks like this right now. It usually doesn't always look like this because I used to have vines hanging right here and they actually fell down. <laughs> you can see them right there. But I, they used to be little fairy white light up vines. They're pretty cute, but I'm gonna have to put them back up. I'm just gonna start with this. We have a little 
rug. I think it's from World Market, but I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, and this is our like main rug. It's from Home Goods. Very cute. Here is our uh, lamp that I got from Amazon. Over here on my bed, I have a dream catcher that I've had like since I was a kid. They also gave us this little tassel at Convocation, so that's cute. And then my mouth guard, we don't have to look at that, eye drops. This is a little uh, bedside table that my mom got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, here's my book, another book. Um, here's my bed. Again, there are usually vines here, so just imagine those. Here are my stuffed animals and pillows. Lammy, I got this at World Market. This is Amazon, this is George, I don't know where he's from. And here is my beautiful collage and my pennant. And there's my husband pillow, uh, Maribel the Squishmallow, and my stuffed ram. And then here's some storage under there. I just have random stuff. It's not as organized as my roommate's, but... Okay, sorry I cut out again. I am gonna have to start going faster because my storage is running out. But here's my purse, a little tote bag. Um, those just kind of hang there. I have a glow stick on that one. <laughs> uh, here's my backpack and a little trash can. I have to look in there. Um, here I have a little thing that my piano teacher gave me and my whiteboard calendar where I just put stuff. Just here's my desk. It's just an overview. That here's just some school supplies in my planner. My lamp is from Amazon and it's actually really nice because you can like dim it, turn it up and like change the lighting. A little organizer that I put all my stuff in. Um, a little fake plant and pencil sharpener. Here's my wardrobe. I don't, I mean, I basically just keep closing it. So, it's the room. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Bye. And that is basically it for the storm tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed and definitely come back for more college videos.